Do you want to survive every single storm in the Cycle Frontier? Well, friends, my name is Rengar. Welcome to another Cycle Guide. Let us jump right in. So, the storm in the Cycle Frontier is actually a global event that occurs numerous times throughout the lifetime of a world. Now, if you didn't know, a world lasts for up to six hours in the Cycle Frontier where players are constantly spawning and leaving, and the storm happens numerous times, as do meteor showers. Now, this guide is going to cover mostly storms, and storms can be quite devastating and intimidating if you are new to the game. They can actually kill you, and when I was brand new, I had no idea what the hell was going on, and it definitely killed me a couple times. So I want to share with you guys the tips and tricks about how to survive storms, as well as the advantages of weathering through them as opposed to leaving the map. So without further ado, guys, let us jump right in. So we know that the storm is an event, and we know that it happens several times throughout a game world, but how do we know when the storm is going to happen? Well, actually, as you can see at the top, the game gives us an indicator. It gives us a five minute warning and a one minute warning when the storm is coming. Now, when the storm happens, again, it can be very deadly and it can catch you off guard. So definitely make sure that if you see this coming and you're not confident, you get the hell out of the map. However, if you want to wear that the storm, there are ways that you can cheese it and ways to avoid damage. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But when the storm does happen, all the evacs on the map are closed for a few minutes. The storm seems to last around five minutes. I tried uh, timing how long the storm lasts, and I was getting different numbers every time, but it seems to be averaged out around five minutes, give or take a little bit. So whenever you see that notification pop up, make sure you either head to your nearest extract or that you bunker down somewhere that you can hold down throughout the storm. Now, I'm sure you're wondering how the storm can actually end up killing you, and the good news is if you are inside or you are below a roof, that you cannot die to the storm. So if you want to take the easy way out, you are more than welcome to just sit below a roof and you are good to go. However, if you are outside, what will happen is a ball of red electricity will build up at your feet, and it will zap you after a few seconds. Now, this electricity is pretty much like pinned in, the, in place in the ground, so all you have to do to get away from it is just run and jump away or run and slide away and you will dodge the attack now this seems to happen every 15 to 25 seconds i tried timing it to see if it was the exact interval and there's really no exact interval to it so it's kind of random if you ever need to gain stamina back or heal while being in the open i recommend always doing it right after you get zapped by lightning because you have that like 15 to 25 second window so there's also random lightning strikes that can happen on the ground, but they seem to really not hit you very often. You're pretty much worried about making sure that you're constantly dodging those new red pulses like you see I just did there. So there are some benefits to actually weathering out the storm, and some people wonder if it's even worth sticking on the map while the storm happens. Now, I personally leave the map most of the time the storm happens, but there are quite a few advantages. Now, the first being that new players can actually not spawn on the map while the storm is going on, and quite a few players actually leave the map when the storm begins. So, this is when the least number of players are on the map, so you are actually quite free to roam the map and loot like high-density areas. Uh, for example, like the jungle, where normally there would be a ton of players, there seem to be very few players because they leave the map. Now, on top of this, it also seems that... Uh, the mobs kind of spawn with better loot, especially the marauders. Um, I've been told this by my chat, so I tried to test it. And every time I was killing marauders in the storm, it seemed that they were always dropping, like, hardened bone plates. And it seemed like they were always dropping, like, the marauder heads. Um, I have one in this clip, actually, where when I kill this marauder, I get a bone plate and I get a marauder head from the same one. Which, of course, have happened before, but... I don't know, I've seen a lot of things where people kill them on streams and they get purple armors, I've seen blue armors drop for them, so I'm not entirely sure if they really do get better loot, but it really does seem like it, and maybe it's placebo, maybe it's not, but it really seems like they spawn better stuff. Now, on top of that, you will uh, also be able to get glowing mushrooms and charged spinal bases, which will go into later on, you can see a glowing mushroom right there, uh, but that's pretty much the main benefits is the lack of players, the fact that nobody new can spawn in, and then as you see from this Marauder, he uh, ends up dropping the Bone Plate, and he ends up dropping the Marauder Head, which is really kind of insane. I mean, Marauders don't really have great spawn rates for most things, and it's kind of crazy to see him drop that, and I have seen good armor drop from him. So again, I'm not entirely sure, but I, while testing it, it really does seem like they do drop better gear uh, during the storm. But again, that kind of all is down to speculation, and I can't prove it. It would require further testing over a longer period of time. 
Now, there are some items that can only drop during the storm, those being the charged spinal bases and the glowing bright cap mushrooms. Now, the spinal bases drop from striders and they seem to drop every single time you kill one. Now, they are used for both contracts and for like mid and late game quarters upgrades. So we definitely have a use for them and we definitely need to get some eventually. Now, they are kind of annoying to get uh, as you do have to wait at a storm and it can be annoying to deal with if you are new to it. If you're more experienced, you see like you really never get hit by it like me. However, there are ways to cheese it. If you go to the comms tower, which is actually below the jungle on the west side of the map, you can actually just run into the building on the ground floor and you can just kind of open the door and just spray at all the striders during the storm and you take no damage and then after the storm is over you can go ahead and just loot all the spinal bases once the storm ends you don't have to worry about doing any of the mechanics or anything um it kind of just is a way to cheese it i guess overall and the mushrooms are really only ever going to spawn in the swamp or in the jungle so if you want to end up getting the mushrooms my recommendation is to stay inside the crashed ship and just run around look to see if you can find some mushrooms and then run back inside and just keep resetting that so even if you get hit you could run back inside you could heal just be careful because standing in certain parts of the crash ship the roof is actually open and you can get hit by the lightning so i'd recommend actually staying inside of the crash ship itself to guarantee that you're not going to get hit by the storm now something worth mentioning is the bright cap mushrooms uh can be used for crafting at the workbench which is located in between the guys say armory and the quick shop if you walk over to the workbench you press f and you go to consumables you can see we can craft the combat stim for uh one bright cap mushroom one biological sampler and one medical supply it makes one stim and these heal for 30 which is five more than the strong stim now this really isn't that worth it in my book because of uh, it takes five hours to craft it's kind of annoying to like have to go to the storm to farm these and they kind of still weigh too much if they weighed a lot less it might be worth it more um it's worth mentioning though because in the next iteration of the beta these might actually be worth crafting so i would say whenever you have the chance early on make sure you grab those blowy those glowy bright cap mushrooms and maybe they'll make this crafting a lot quicker maybe it'll craft three or four per we don't know but it's worth mentioning that and we'll talk about uh upgrades right now now another thing worth mentioning is when you come into your quarters and you go to the quarter upgrades and you press F and you go to generators, the daily supply crate to upgrade it to level 5, it actually requires you to get charged spinal bases. So on top of needing them for contracts, you need them for the quarters upgrades to get a better daily uh, rewards crate, which means we can get better loadouts later on. So if you ever do sign yourself in a storm, it's definitely worth picking up a couple of these, whether it's to hold them onto them for contracts or hold on to the upgrade this crate. Now, we know that the storm is uh, starting to end when the sky becomes a lighter, the lightning will stop, and uh, it'll start drizzling outside instead of being a torrential downpour. Now, it'll say evacs are back online, and that means that now we can call in our evac ships and any remaining players on the map can now begin to leave if they want to. But once it says this, players do begin spawning back into raids, so please watch your back. Guys, that was the guide. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully now you feel confident actually weathering out storms in the game and you won't feel like you have to leave every single one and now you know the perks of actually weathering out the storms. If you enjoyed the content, I'm doing daily guides here on my channel as well as daily streams where we're giving away beta access keys every single hour that I'm live. Hit that like button, comment down below what you want to see next, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you guys in a future video or stream.